so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! I think we should learn some colors while we color some of these pages. <laughs> First, you got to have some markers or colored pencils or crayons. And then you got to decide what page you want to color. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Oh, let's start with this one. That's me riding or flying in an airplane. Wow, it looks like this. But we're going to make it look like that. Wow. Um, let's start with the airplane. You can color yours whatever color you want. But I'm going to start with the color, um, hmm, green. Dark green. Yellow Purple Gray Red And now, let's color me! You know my colors, blue and orange. Orange. Light blue. Light brown, beige, okay, now I'm going to color hmm, the sky. What color is the sky? Yeah, it's the color blue. Dark blue. Okay, now that the sky is done and the airplane's done and, and I'm done, um, let's color the hot air balloon. Color it whatever color you want, but I'm gonna color it, um, I'll start with one color and that'll be pink. Pink. Purple Gold Brown <gasps> The hot air balloons are so colorful! You can color it whatever color you want. Well, now let's color the airplane.
Gray. And last but not least, because clouds are white, we need to color our planet Earth. Um, I'd say green and blue are two pretty good colors to color it. Green. Light blue. Now that the coloring page is all colored in of me, Blippi, flying an airplane, let's listen to my airplane song. Plain song. Let's color another page. Hmm. How about an animal? Fish! I love fish. They can be so colorful. It looks like this right now. But we're gonna make it look like that. 
Woo, that's so colorful. Okay, first let's start with this fish. One fish down, two more to go. Okay, now we need to color the water. And you know what color water is. It's the color blue. Have a sea creature to color. I'm gonna color it orange. Okay, now I'm gonna color the plants and I'm gonna do the color green. And last but not least, let's color these rocks. This page is so colorful. 
Now let's watch some real footage of some fishies swimming in the sea. Geez, I love fish. Okay, let's color one last page right now, okay? Um, let's see, what other pages? Oh, I know, the one in the very back. Yeah, me! <laughs> I'm black and white right now, but we'll make it look like me. Okay, my, my two main colors are orange and blue. Let's do all the orange things first, okay? All the orange things are done. Let's move on to the other color. Blue! Yeah! Light blue. Pants are the color gray. Gray. Bay. Light brown. Red. Jeez, that was so much fun coloring in my flippy coloring book. All right, see you later. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Whoa! Look at what it is! Two bucket trucks. And in this video, we are going to learn about... Yeah! Bucket trucks! Woohoo! Woo! Okay, now I'll show you the parts of the bucket truck. Come on! Woo! Look at this! A compartment! Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Like a tape measure, and ooh, a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> so many other cool things in there. Ooh, another compartment. Whoa, giant snippers. Snip, snip, snip. And, whoa, look at this. Really heavy mallet. <laughs> That's heavy. Okay, shut that. Ooh, look! A fire extinguisher. Just in case if there's a fire anywhere. <laughs> Ooh, and some road cones up here. Oh, look down here. Whoa! 
This is a stabilizer leg. They go down and stabilize the truck while the operator is really high in the sky in the bucket. <laughs> okay, let me show you up here. Wow, look at this. This is a go light and it moves, see? <laughs> okay, check this out. It's like a spotlight, watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of like it's a disco light. Whoa, look up here. These are the lower controls that operate the boom in the bucket from down below right here. Ooh. And spray paint? Wow, I bet that's useful. And whoa, look at these giant bolts. Wow, that's huge. And then we have some more cones and some folded up road signs. There's a lot of them in here. And come back here. Wow. See, this is the bucket. That's where you stand and then you go really high in the sky. That is so cool. Okay, come here. I'll show you inside the bucket van. Look. Wow, there's other cool things in here. Like, oh, another screwdriver. Ew, ew. <laughs> Hey, here, take a peek. Wow! Whoa, look! I set out some stuff that was inside the bucket van. Hey, we have a pedestrian headlight. It says stop and go. And it counts down right there. Ooh, a socket wrench. <laughs> And a small adjustable wrench, a medium adjustable wrench, and a giant adjustable wrench! <laughs> this is called a crow's foot. Wow, it's used for odd shaped nuts and bolts like that. <laughs> Whoa, isn't that cool? Hmm, look over here. We have a red light, a yellow light, and a green light. Whoa! And speaking of green lights, look! This is the green light button tester. Just like when emergency vehicles, like police cars and fire trucks, when they need to get somewhere really quick, they have a button inside that shoots a light. Whoa! Into this thing. Ah! It's really bright! And then that turns the lights green. Whoa! Okay, ooh, another road cone. <laughs> oh, a road sign. Oh, and speaking of safety, we have our safety equipment. Like my bright orange vest. Whoa. See, so orange. And then, whoa, look at this. This is a harness. This is used, so then you wear it while you're up in the bucket. So then if anything ever happens, you're strapped into the bucket. So, strap this right here, okay? And then, oh, one around your belly, perfect. And then two down here, <laughs> yeah, nice and tight. And another down here, wow. Now I feel really safe, but still, oh, jeez, this is kind of heavy, but I got to put on my gloves, bright orange gloves, one, two, and last but not least, my hard hat. traffic signal lights? We're just gonna do some maintenance and make sure that they work. Okay, it looks like the lights are in perfect working order. 
now we're going to head on over here to the black thing over there. And that is a sensor. And it senses the magic green light button. Now that we're at this little black sensor, we just need to clean it and then we need to test it. And this is used for when emergency vehicles push their magic green button to flash lights and then it'll turn green. Watch! Okay, look! That's turning and that's green! So that means it works really good! So we're up here looking at this street light. It's an LED street light. And it wasn't working, but we fixed the wiring. Fixing the lights up in the sky, there's a handyman. Way up high on that neon sign, high above the land. And everybody wants to know, how did he get way up there? simple look over there it's a bucket truck that takes him up and up going high above in a bucket truck it's a truck with an arm and a platform attached it can raise and lower you just like that Just like that Going up, 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 up In a bucket truck Going 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 up Come on everyone Let's make money Special thanks to the companies and people that made this video possible. If you want me to do a video with your company, shoot me an email. Bye -bye. <laughs> Come here. Hey, it's me, Flippy, and today we're at Odyssey in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is gonna be awesome. I think today, you and I should learn about some animals. Whoa, look at this place. Oh, those are kind of like raindrops. Hello. Okay, let's go over here. gonna be so much fun! Oh, did you see that? I just used two fingers on the back of the head in the back of this Russian sturgeon. Oh, it looks like he liked it. So cool! It's hard, but it also has kind of a layer of a slippery sludge on it. <laughs> it helps keep all the parasites away. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> the 
That is awesome! <laughs> I just touched the stingray nice and gently with my two fingers on its back. Whoa, okay, let's, uh, let's touch another one. Oh, here's one right over here. Oh, oh hey. Whoa, oh, that's silly. Ooh, come over here. Whoa. There's so many of them. Whoa, look at that one. It's just resting on the ground. That's a different kind. Huh. Oh, here comes one. Whoa. Hey, I'll describe what it feels like. It kind of feels, oh, here's one more. Whoa, yeah, I really know what it feels like now. It feels like a wet gummy bear. <laughs> oh, so slippery and soft at the same time, but firm as well. Wow, <laughs> this is fun. Hey, Blippi, what are you doing? Oh, just sitting here looking at my favorite fish, the paddlefish. Ooh, paddlefish? That's pretty cool. It is. Well, see you later. Hope to see you later, Blippi. Whoa, this is pretty cool being behind the scenes of the aquarium. Hello. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. Uh -huh. So many cool workers here. Whoa, look at this. We're on top of an aquarium. Whoa, look at all that water and those fish down there. Whoa, okay, follow me. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, there's so much scuba gear in here, tanks, wetsuits. Whoa. Okay, we need to take this fish to the sharks. I bet they're really hungry. Come on! Whoa! Wow! Okay. Whoa, look at this! Whoever drew that is a good artist. It shows the different parts of a shark. Yeah, like the gills. Oh, huh? Whoa, look! All right, we did it! Here you go. Hi, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. What's your name? My name's Danny. Oh, this is Danny, and what are you doing here? So, we're here with Cassie, and she's actually feeding our big sharks right now. Oh, look, I see a fish down there. Look! Whoa, so what? why is she holding a fish on a pole? So that's how we get the food down to our sharks. If they're already low in the water column, she needs to be able to have a really long tool to get the food down to their mouth. Okay, so they hold the pole, which has a fish on the end, and then the sharks come up and have some supper. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like fun. Whoa. Those fish look big. How big is that fish that she's feeding the sharks? It's about this big. It's called a blue fish because it has a kind of blue tint to it. Okay. That's a blue fish. That's about this big. So, what kind of fish did I bring up? So, you brought up some herring, which is a big fish in here. Okay. And Caitlin, which is the little fish in here. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Hey, well, this is pretty cool seeing someone else do it, but hey, can I feed some sharks? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Just make sure you have your gloves on so the fish can be kind of stinky. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Let's put the gloves on so then my hands don't smell like fish for weeks. <laughs> okay. All right. I got my gloves on. Uh, oh, there we go. One glove. Two gloves. All right. And now what do I do? So we'll just take this fish bucket that you brought up for our kitchen and we'll head over here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We'll head over to our feeding platform. Okay. As soon as we walk up, the fish will be all ready for us. Whoa! Look! I'm on the platform. Whoa, look! There's no barriers between me and the fish. Okay, I'm just gonna jump in. Oh, no. <laughs> just kidding. All right, here we go. Can I throw one at a time? Yeah, whatever you want. Either one at a time or all of it at once. All right! Enjoy this! Swarming to the top because they know that I'm throwing all this yummy food to them. Right. Whee! Whee! There you go, fish. Is that tasty? <laughs> is that tasty, fish, or is that? Tasty. <laughs> okay, just a little left. Here we go. Whoa. That was so much fun. <laughs> Good job. Whoa. Ooh, she's feeding a turtle. Come on. Whoa. So many cool things up here. Whoa. Okay, let's go over here. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, what are you doing? I am feeding Greta, our green sea turtle. Ooh, she's feeding Greta? That's a nice name. And this is Greta. Do you see Greta? Hey, Greta. Ooh, what does Greta like to eat? Greta loves lettuce, but she also enjoys cucumbers, bell peppers, and even sometimes carrots. Ooh, lettuce, bell peppers, cucumbers, and carrots? Sounds like Greta's really healthy. <laughs> Can I try feeding Greta? Yeah. Okay. All right. How do I do it? Just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. The whole leaf, you just pop it in front of her. Hey. There you go, Greta. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing? It's behind you. Should I throw another one? Sure. There we go. Sometimes you just have to Okay. All right. Ooh, Greta's hungry. Here you go, Greta. Yum! Here you go. Oh, Greta is really big. Do you know how much Greta weighs? She is a little bit over 100 pounds. Oh, wow. 100 pounds. Wow. Oh, here you go. <laughs> okay, let's do a big piece. Let's watch Greta eat a whole piece. Here you go. Oh, look right there. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. That's a big piece of lettuce. Since we just 
touch some animals. I think we should use this restroom and wash our hands. Let's go. Okay, welcome to the bathroom. Whoa, look. Whoa, look. This restroom is underwater. And this restroom actually won the best restroom in America. Whoa, you can wash your hands right here. And look at shark. Sharks and fish. Whoa. This is awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I washed my hands. Now I'll go dry them. You enjoy the view. on the escalator to the deep ocean. <laughs> Come on! I present to you the Deep Ocean Exhibit! So this is a sea lion. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow. And there's actually a seal in here as well. Let's go try and find it. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Hello. See that right here? This is a seal. Hi. So there's three sea lions in here and one seal. And the easiest way to tell the difference is this. I'll show you. So, if you're a sea lion, you use your front flippers to, to basically walk like this. <laughs> but seals don't do that. Seals. Oh, hello. Oh, oh you're curious, huh? <laughs> so curious. Whoa. So that's a sea lion. Mm -hmm. So it walks with its flippers. Hello, 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 hello. They're actually really smart animals. See how it's following me? I'll try and change directions. Whoa! <laughs> okay, and seals, they don't walk like that, you know? This is a sea lion. sea lion and a seal they don't have that much power right here and it's kind of short and stubby so this is what they do so they just kind of waddle that's silly wow 
what magnificent creatures. Check them out a little bit more. We're behind the scenes at the aquarium, and we're gonna meet some penguins, come on! Hey, let's walk nice and slow, and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh. Hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Hey, okay, what do you do here? I work with the penguins. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh, no. Are these your only two penguins here? Oh, no, we have more friends that are coming. Do you like to grab a toy? We're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy and let's see some more penguins. Look over there. also can see colors really well and have rods and cones in their eyes just like we do. Okay. They're kind of, although they're birds, they're kind of acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys and just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay. Huh. Interesting. It's pretty cool. Get a closer look. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, penguins are so silly. So, where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa. And we have 32 of them here in the aquarium. Wow, 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa? Yes. Not Antarctica? Antarctica. They're actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> hey, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is going to bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get a touch of penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. Okay, are you ready? So soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the gam touch? Yes, you can. Okay. Does that feel good? You like that? Showing off for you. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy, uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. <laughs> I hope she doesn't want to kiss. <laughs> oh, hello! This is a little blue penguin. It's pretty small. Whoa, this board 
has the sizes of different penguins. Oh, like the penguin I met today, an African penguin. Whoa, and they just keep getting bigger. Whoa, whoa, look how big they're getting. Whoa, look at how big this penguin is. Whoa, four feet tall? 1.3 meters high? Jeez, look how big it is. Oh, whoa, that's a really big penguin. Whoa, look, a toucan. <laughs> Do you see its beak? <laughs> kind of looks like the shape of a banana. A really colorful banana. <laughs> There's another bird over here, come on. And oh, <laughs> a colorful parrot. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Whoa, looks like it's yellow, blue, and on its head is green. <laughs> hey, hey, there's another animal right over here I want to show you. Come on. Whoa, look, look at this animal. It's moving really slow. <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a sloth. Let's act like a sloth together. Uh... are otters and they're so cute look at them go underwater whoa i bet they can hold their breath for a really long time whoa they're so fast <laughs> they kind of look like water cats <laughs> but they're not kitty cats <laughs> whoa hi <laughs> hello Oh, another one. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Whoa. That was so much fun learning about all these creatures at Odyssey in Scottsdale, Arizona with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you soon. <laughs>